Welcome to the Once in a Lifetime series. In this series here, we're leaving Kilbuck, Ohio. We'll be traveling all the way to Elkhart, Indiana. We're gonna go up and explore around the mighty Lake Erie, all the towns and wonders up around there. All this footage was previously recorded in the month of June. You'll see clouds, rain, blue sky, and so much more. So the journey starts right now. Hey all, Russ here, RVTV, welcome. Check it out. I'm leaving Kilbuck. I had one fantastic visit with my friend. We shared a lot of memories from a lot of years back. Great visit. Okay, but guess what? Look at this rain supposed to be raining <laughs> pretty much all morning. I'm heading north. We're going to head up towards uh, Lake Erie, actually. Right up here, we're going to pick up a highway, Highway 60. 60 takes us all the way up to Lake Erie. But it's supposed to be raining most of the morning, so the plan is i got to drive. i got to keep trucking. Got to keep the wheels turning. Keep on schedule. Make a left here. So long, Kilbuck. In Holmes County to another time. Great memories here. All right, across the creek here. Anyway, um, we're gonna fast track it up there. It's about 75 miles up to the lake. Stay right on 60. If by any chance we get some blue sky, <laughs> we'll film it. Kind of neat winding through these old back roads here of Ohio. A lot of old farmhouses, history, Amish country, Mennonite. Just a really cool place to be. Alright, right up here. Uh, 60 connects back up with, uh, was it 39, I believe? We're gonna actually head west for a few miles. Yep, 39 and 60 together. We're gonna go up to a little town called Loudonville. And then from there, we're gonna head straight on north. No blue sky yet. little community of Nashville, Ohio. Cool old church there on the left. Trees are green, green grass. It gets uh, pretty cold here in the winter though. They get a lot of snow. Okay, up here at this intersection, we're, we're going straight. We're staying on the state highways. If you made a right, that'd take you up towards uh, Worcester, Ohio, but we're once again on 39 west and 60 north. Kind of looking forward to seeing uh, Lake Erie. Been a lot of years since I've been up in that neck of the woods too. And we're out of Nashville, heading over here, uh, getting close to Loudonville, Ohio. this sign here. We're leaving Holmes County. We're now in Ashland County. This is where the town of Loudonville is. Loudonville, Ohio. Make it right up here. Look at that old church, yeah? 
Okay, 60 all the way up to the lake. It's still raining. I'll kick the cameras on when it gets good. Sooner or later. <laughs> Enjoy the ride. I just love looking at those older style homes. They don't build nothing like that anymore, do they? Okay, we're going straight. If made a right, that take you back over towards Worcester itself. We'll be going through quite a bit of little towns. And hopefully it's scenic. This is Hayesville, Ohio. See a lot of brick homes, don't you? Front porches. You just don't see that style construction out west. At least the rain has slowed up. I uh, haven't had too many drops on the windshield. Hopefully the time we get up Lake Erie, we'll see some blue sky. Temperature is about, oh, 71 right now. Very humid. I'm not used to the humidity being from out west. Okay, looks like we made it through Hayesville. I think uh, we're going to come up to a town called Ashland here pretty quick. Another state route. Just crisscrosses Ohio. Ooh, big old building. This must be apartments over there. A lot newer construction. How's it like being a lawn mowing business around here, huh? Be busy. Be sure to get over on RVRTV.tv. Sign up for my free newsletter. There I post quite a bit about future travels, all kinds of good stuff. Also, you can download free screensavers, sunset photos from all my travels. I have activity books and new courses available as well that help support the travels. Miles wise, it's not that far. It's just we go through all these little towns, get slowed down a lot. Slowing down to 35 now. Little sprinkle. Okay, we're getting into Ashland here. Ashland, Ohio. This is a pretty good sized town. Cool architecture. Pretty busy road, truthfully. Big old church. Love the brick. Oh, the old movie theater. Doors, looks like furniture, true value. Yeah, all these buildings, old, old, old. Looks like we gotta make a left here. This must be downtown district. Never been here. If I was, I don't remember. Brewing company, banks. That's a cool looking building. I gotta pay attention where I'm going here. <laughs> we gotta stay on 60. Heading to the lake, Lake Erie. Alright, I'd say we made it through most of it. 
That's the biggest town we're going to go through on Highway 60, it looked like, according to the phone. Pretty good shape. Got plenty of fuel. Really flat here, there's no mountains, there's no big hills. Closer to the lake we get. Another big water tower, it says Ruggles. This must be Ruggles, Ohio. Kind of a fat, I gotta pay attention to the road. So I'm probably missing a couple of these town names off the phone. If you look on the maps, just follow along Highway 60. Yep, Ruggles, yay. <laughs> Ask and you shall receive. Wow, there's an old building. Uh, it's just a little burg. Whoops, I had to stop and change camera batteries. <laughs> it was blinking yellow. Okay, so much for Ruggles, Ohio. And look at the clouds, they're getting uh, lighter. I think we're going to be in good shape time we get up to Lake, lake Erie. I believe this is New London. Ohio. Still picking up a few sprinkles. Yeah, this is a slow road with all the towns. It's alright. We got all day, huh? But which way up here? 60 north. To the left. Wow, all the flowers planted. Once we get up lake, I'll stop. We're going to see some water up here. I just want to get past all this clouds and rain and stuff. But pretty scenic so far. Pretty good drive. But here you go, this is downtown New London. Fire escape along the building. And we got us a train. <laughs> cool. of businesses, farmlands in these areas, huge, huge agriculture out this way. They get pretty severe weather here too. Right up here, we got to be getting close. What's the sign say? Yep, Vermilion, 12 miles. 
that's our destination. The clouds are lifting. It's really not raining, just overcast. I can deal with that. We're up, almost up to the little town called Vermilion. And we're going to see Lake Erie. Yay! We would be to the west of Cleveland up here. I did not want to go to any big cities, so this is the reason I took this route. And we will check out this town. This town has uh, got a ton of history. All of Ohio has a ton of history. <laughs> Here we are. Town of Vermilion. Old. Look at the old style houses. It's amazing they stand the test of time. We're still on 60. Highway 60. But guess what? We, it ends right up here. <laughs> Can't go much farther. Been a long time since I've been up through here. 60 North. I'd say we're almost at the end of it. The town should be right up here. Oh, cool, a park. Look at this. You know what? Let me pull in here a sec. Perfect. Great place to park the van. I'm always looking for bigger parking places because of the van. Let me park here and then we'll go walk around. what this sign says. Erie County. Wow, look at that. Benedict Arnold. <laughs> huh. Way back in the 1800s. County area was formed in 1838. My goodness. Well, let's go uh, check out downtown here. Six. We're right at the lake. You're going to see the lake here. We're going to drive over there. But that was too good of a place to park the van. Well, this is Vermilion. Old town Vermilion. All the old shops. Buildings are forever. <laughs> Trees in the sidewalk growing. Pretty good looking mural there. Being on the lake. 1860, my goodness. So there's your answer. <laughs> Was that 160 years, 50, 60 years? Woodstock Cafe. Look how the bricks inlaid in the sidewalk, too. Flower baskets out. Nautical Art Gallery. There's the lake straight off. Looks like the ocean almost, doesn't it? Okay, see the 60 sign? It says end on it. So we made it to the end of Highway 60 in Ohio. Mayor's office. Pretty cool. Looks like another little park cross street. More shops. Cool little town. Well, let's head back to the van.
I kind of mapped this out earlier so I knew what I was getting into a little bit. Really didn't know about the park. <laughs> That's okay. We're going to see water. We're going to see a lot of water for quite a while. Didn't even notice this one. It's about Vermilion Incorporated. 1837. Founded in 1808. Wow. Whew. Look at these mansions over there. They look like businesses now or something. Look at the size of them buildings. Goodness. Cool. Go find that lake, huh? here okay the lighthouse lens those are amazing you know it doesn't take that much of a light to really reflect how they do that vermilion lighthouse history cool we're going to be seeing a whole bunch of lighthouses. <laughs> there it is. Coming soon. Looks like they're building what, restrooms here. Cute little park. See, I couldn't bring the van down in here. Just too long. I'd stick way out. That's why I'm always looking for a large parking lot. <laughs> People on the beach. Puppy dog in the water. There's the Vermilion Lighthouse. This is going to be the first of many. Wow. All restored and everything looks good. There is mighty Lake Erie. Huge. This thing freezes over. Parts of it, anyway. You go out here ice fishing in the winter. Where it used to be, I don't know anymore. There it is. Feels good. Who needs the ocean when you got the Great Lakes, huh? <laughs> hey, blue sky. Check it out. Look, blue. Yeah. I'd like to live in that house there. Perfect. I walked past a boat dock back there. We're, we'll go back and check that out. Heading back towards the van. Standing the test of time, these lighthouses. Check out this mural. Vermilion River. Okay. Look at that place, huh? Wow. <laughs> Private drive, I guess so. My goodness, and look at this. All right. <laughs> this is Mayberry on the water here. Look at these houses. Look at the big boat. Your streets a waterway. What's this one? Probably Water Street. <laughs> I 
absolutely perfect. Look, low blue sky getting our way. There's a ni another nice house. The flowers, everything. <laughs> Now, how'd you like to live here? Just dock your boat, go in, have lunch, head back out, catch a fish, feed the ducks, mow your grass next to the water. Oh, man. What a pretty place. This is a cool little town. There's RV parks along uh, Highway 2. Well, we're going to check out a whole bunch. Don't worry. We're going to see a bunch of stuff here. Port of a million. All right, let's head to the van. Beautiful colors. Look at them things, huh? There's an anchor for you. Tons of history here, I bet. Well, I sp on the phone, sorry, I had to get the camera adjusted here. I found a park. We'll head up the road here. The goal here, we'll just kind of skirt along the lake. Stay on this highway up here. Keep on trucking. Here's the rest of Vermillion. Old town, old sea town. Port towns. All these towns have shipping and ports and docks. We're going to explore a bunch of them. Okay, should be a park right up here. I think, yep, here it is. I'm going to stop here, get some lunch. And I see more blue sky. I'm going to wait it out. Hopefully we'll get some sunshine here in a little bit. Wow, check out the mobile home park right here in the water. Could you retire here? You wouldn't want to be here in the winter though. Goodness, it gets cold. Those storms roll off this lake. Oof. That would be frigid. <laughs> Big park. All right, well, find a place to park. Well, there's part of the shoreline of Vermilion of Lake Erie. Look at the mansions. <laughs> Along to here. Look at all the fishing boats. Look at all those guys. You think they know where to fish? My goodness. How cool is that? Look how calm the water is too. Nice and flat. No wind. Let's see way out there. This is looking down. There's more boats. Look at them. Huh. They know where to fish. Well, I thought it'd be fun travel. We're going to follow the shoreline of the Great Lakes for a while. See what we can find, get into. <laughs> Check out a bunch of lighthouses. Lake Erie's the start of it.
Look how green it looks here. Just plush, manicured farmland against the shoreline of the Great Lake Erie. Oh, man. What a place to live, except in the winter. <laughs> pretty, pretty. Well, get back on this low Highway 6. I still have to map myself out. I'm going to avoid as many of the big towns as possible. Go around them. And we're going to try to follow some shorelines here. So, see how it works out. I don't know. Looks good on the maps, but you never know till you try, huh? <laughs> should be fun. Should be different. Cruising along the Lake Erie shoreline. Yay! We're heading to right there on the water tower. City of Huron. It's supposed to be a big dock marina and another lighthouse. I thought we'd stop and check it out. I thought it'd be kind of unique. Explore the shorelines of the Great Lakes, RV along through here. You know, when you look at it on uh, Google Maps or any mapping system, you see campgrounds, RV parks, resorts. It's endless, all the way around all the lakes. So, ooh, look at all the sailboats. Okay, I'm following the phone here, <laughs> as usual. See if I can't get lost. <laughs> Look, we got a little blue sky. Temps are picking up. It's actually warm, humid. No wind. That's good. As long as it doesn't rain, we'll be good shape. So this must be downtown here on here. And oops, I need to get over need to make a right here no one coming nope all clear <laughs> sorry about that go in the business district here welcome to Huron city by the bay huh <laughs> All of these towns date back into the like 1800s or before. Can you imagine them people came back see what it was nowadays? <laughs> oh man. Paved roads. There was no paved roads back then. Canoes and huts and log homes. Be interesting to see a snapshot of the time back then though, wouldn't it? Okay, going to the phone. Here we go. Now we're on track. Find a place to park up here. Here you go. Bowling Alley. Look at that. There's some hotels in here. Looks like some restaurants. There's the big lake. Matter of fact, I'm just going to park back here and walk. This will work right here. The 
Legacy of Huron Docks. Be cool to catch a big ship, but I don't think this port's that big. Looks like a bunch of boats. We'll check that out down there later. It's supposed to be a lighthouse out here somewhere. Let's go for a walk. Pretty day for a walk. Let's see what this one says. Fleming John. Trader. Canadian trader out of 1805. Wow. I'll be darned. War of 1812, goodness. Well, at least they keep track of history. A lot of the stuff gets lost. Looks like little restaurants. It's early, nothing's open yet. Here you go. Park your sailboat in your yard right there. <laughs> Perfect. Boy, I bet these uh, buildings seem some weather. These storms could really kick up off the lake here. Another little restaurant, parking lot. I could have fit in that one. I could have drove down here. Oh well, we wouldn't have seen the signs. Scooter ding ding. <laughs> okay. Funny name. Well, that's a long walk out on this one. Look how long the pier is. Holy moly. Oh, look, another park way down there. Huh. What a premium place to live, isn't it? There's the duck crew. <laughs> Guarding the beach. Cool. Well, no getting around it. I'm going to walk out there. We're going to check out that lighthouse way out there. Uh, Centennial Park here on Rotary. What a view these people have living here. <laughs> and look at these guys down here. They got the best view in the house right there. Waterfront view. There's islands out in the lake. I think once we get farther up Lake Erie, there's some islands. You can go out and camp on them. Some of them have ferry service. Flowers all in blue. A little bit of breeze out here. It feels good, just a perfect day the way it started kind of cloudy here on lighthouses here we go look at that 1854 one got destroyed 1857 they rebuilt it 1939 wow Can you imagine? Here's the other side, Huron's mar mar Maritime History. Shipyards, 1838. Okay, Lake Erie Birding Trail. All right, 
This one. They got a lot of storyboards. Cool. Oh, look at the pictures. That's what I like. Different pictures of the ships that come in here. Big ones. Good morning. How are you? Good, how are you doing? Good, good. A few people out enjoying the dock. They ride their bikes out here, walk. Pretty cool. Bring your dog out too. Watch out, you get run over. Feels good to be out of that van. Been doing so much driving this spring. Feels good to be out of it. Early boats, look at this, sailboats. Look at that. Bunch of those sunk too. The old time tugboats. Huh. My goodness. Imagine what came through this port. I'll be darn. All wooden boats, too. Sitting by the dock of the bay there, huh? <laughs> Had to say it. Just wait for the opportunity. <laughs> I think we made it to the end. Into the pier. Walk the plank. Still quite a ways out there. Can't go any farther. There's the rock wall. Huron Blockhouse, 1930s to present. Looks different though. 1930s. Look at the top of it. took the top off. They changed lights on it. Must be more modern lights. They took the whole top of that thing off. Oh well. I mean, still, it's there. <laughs> be kind of cool to go all the way out there, though. Well, let's go back and get that van. We'll go check out some more of them parks. There's some other parks around here. Getting this Lake Erie, Huron, Ohio. Those are some heavy duty pipes there, aren't they? For unloading ships, probably. Oh my goodness, look at these guys. I bet they're going out for a three hour cruise. A three-hour cruise. <laughs> okay, I quit. Oh, goodness. Now, if someone on there was named Gilligan, then I'd really be in trouble, huh? <laughs> Heading out, enjoy the big Lake Erie. Well, let's drive over that other park. Shows it on the phone here, and it's straight ahead. We're losing our blue sky. I 
bet some of these houses are like that Airbnb for rentals and stuff. They gotta be. Okay, I see a playground. I see a bunch of storyboards in there. We gotta stop. But this is what it's like to live next to Lake Erie. Right on the lake. Alright. Get parked a second. Oh, look at the old church. Let's go see what those uh, storyboards say. Cool little park. A little more info. About the same stuff about Huron. Benches everywhere. Look at this. Kids playing. <laughs> Perfect for a kid, huh? Another sign. Revolutionary War. Goodness. So all these communities were kind of linked in that time frame. During all the wars. Look at the church. See what the sign says about this thing. Looks like it's still an uh, active church, active building. Wow, 1837. It was built in 38. My goodness. <laughs> still here. There's a good look. There's a lighthouse way out there. There's that loading dock with them big pipes. Absolutely incredible. There's where we were. Parked over there. See a good look at the old town where all the parks are. Here's the marina. Look at all the sailboats. Perfect for sailboating, huh? Big old Lake Erie. Not today. <laughs> There's no wind. You wouldn't be going very fast. That's at Highway 6. More boats. Look at this. There's a couple campgrounds close by when you're heading uh, to the west. If you RV through here, it's really RV friendly. Very RV friendly. Good roads. Decent places to park. Just got to scout them out a little bit. If you're pulling a trailer or something, you'd be fine. Nice and green. Railroad tracks right there. Perfect. There's the water tower. And big old Lake Erie. Huge lake. Many ocean. <laughs> This incredible the the perfect weather I'm having right now. No wind. Absolutely none. Glad I stopped here. Well, cool. We're back on Highway 6. Gonna keep heading west. See what else we find. So far, uh, Vermilion. Now Huron. Beautiful parks. All kinds of piers, lighthouses. For more information on my travels, be sure to check out my website. RVRTV.TV There you can sign up for my free newsletter Download free screen savers from the trips, sunset photos Plus we have activity books 
courses available, all kinds of good stuff. So once again, check out rvertv.tv. Well, I'm going to find me a campground for the night. See what we get into tomorrow. Check it out. We're on Highway 2, heading west. We're going to go up here. Uh, we're going to go over to Peninsula along Lake Erie. First stop is going to be called a little town called Bayview. I want to get a picture of the bridge where we cross it. Is the exit? I mapped this out. I cheated. <laughs> I googled it last night. Yay. One Vermilion and Huron. Cool. So we're going to head also out to Marblehead State Park. It's a lighthouse. Go ahead and check that out too. All right. Bayview. Don't know much about it. Just kind of a little pit stop for take a quick video of the bridge. Here it is right up here. Pretty cool, really, right on the water. Nice little park where you can sit out and have a cup of coffee in the morning. This is one of these places where everyone knows everyone else. <laughs> it's kind of cool, they got an upper deck on that restaurant. Little motel. It's probably Fisherman City here. Bait and tackle on boats. Another motel. Park bench right along the water. Sets off to the east. That'd be your sunrise. Hey, blue sky. Yay. Oh, I see the bridge. See it up there? Okay. There's supposed to be a little parking area. I can park for a minute. We're not going to be here long. Just enough to get a shot of the bridge. Then we're going to go cross that bridge. There it is. I think it's the Thomas Edison Bridge, if I remember right. Looks like there's no pier in here. You can really hear the birds chirping, huh? <laughs> They're happy. All right, that's what I wanted. Let's go across it. Highway 2 West. Yeah, we end up out in this peninsula. There's this uh, Marblehead Lighthouse State Park that really looked awesome online. We got to find that. That's the goal. It should be on the extreme eastern end of the peninsula out here. On beautiful Lake Erie. Thomas Edison Bridge. Yay! I was right for once. I remembered. <laughs> Alright, here we go. More water. Who needs the ocean when you got the Great Lakes, huh? <laughs> Gotta love it. I don't know. I don't think this one's a drawbridge. I think it just connects the peninsula to the mainland. Some of these bridges are draw where the big boats come through, but I don't think this bay handles the big ones. It's probably the other side of the peninsula out here. Yep, this a little one. Alright, we're looking for the very first exit. 
I think it's Bayshore Drive, something like that. Let's see what this sign says. Yep, this is it, Marblehead. That's where we want to go. Take this exit. Two sixty nine, but I don't think we stay on that. Should be another turn off up here. According to the phone. Let's see. Yep, we'll stay to the right up here. We're going to wind around to the east end of the island here. I call it an island. It's actually a peninsula. This should be Bayshore. Make a left up here. There are all kinds of RV parks and campgrounds along through here. Check them out on Google. They don't lack camping whatsoever all over the place. What a pretty area. Okay, should just be a couple more miles. Ooh, Copper Stopper. There's a sign. Welcome to Marblehead. We're in corporation limits. So we should be getting close. I see water off to the right. There is this house after house. All kinds of private properties. Goodness. It's like Shangri-La to the winter. Winter storms off these lakes are brutal. Ooh, ooh. Looks like a pullout. Let's take it for a minute. I think that state park's right up the road. Let's stop, take a break a second. Check out the view. There's that Cedar Point amusement park. Was not interested in going there. This is a cute little park. Probably a town park. Lake Point Park. No overnight camping. Just a day use. What a view of Lake Erie. Look at this. I see the lighthouse up there in that next little alcove here. Look at that house. is right on the shoreline. And some high-end real estate here. Well, I bet fall colors here are just fantastic. Nice little ponds here to fish. Inland lakes, ponds, whatever. All fresh water. You can almost see all the way down in the bottom, huh? <laughs> Doesn't look very deep. I bet they're loaded full of fish, oh. Look at those homes right there. They got their own little private dock down there with the grass around it. Oh, man. There's the amusement park at Cedar Point. It's supposed to have some of the world's biggest roller coasters or whatever. If I was a hundred years younger, I'd go to it. Just look how vast, like looking out at the ocean, isn't it? These great lakes are massive.
Wind's picking up, see the water getting a little bit choppy. What a perfect spot. I'm gonna sit here for a little while. Hopefully get a little more blue sky coming in. Let the clouds pass. This is absolutely perfect and it's free. No fees here. Just day use though, you can only day use, no camping. Well, you can just hear that water lapping. Birds are chirping. <laughs> See what's down here. That lake is just calm. I bet it's rare to see it this calm <laughs> for this size with no wind like this. That's amazing. Beautiful. What a perfect place is to sit and watch the sunrise. Huh? Look at the roots. They're growing on top of the rocks. Yeah, the tree is alive and well. They just try to get in under the rocks, get all this good water. Check emails for a little bit. Listen to the birds chirp. Perfect temperature. Slightly humid, and it's probably about 70 degrees, 70, somewhere in there, 71, 2. Look at this tree. It's growing sideways almost. Probably the winds. Shoved it over. Van's all happy here. All right. Well, I'm going to give a little bit, and then we'll go find that uh, state park, that lighthouse. for about half hour 40 minutes skies really didn't clear up so we'll just keep trucking look at that little private dock right there sit in your patio I know it's private because the sign said private <laughs> there's the lighthouse you can see it off to the right between them trees so we're close. Private docks everywhere. What's these? Look like condos or apartments, huh? Bet they're pricey. Even in winter it'd be beautiful except for the 20 foot of snow you probably get. I don't know, weather's changed anymore. You hear different things. I'm sure they get cold. All right, according to the phone, turn off should be right up here. There's a resort on the left. Another fancy house. Pink trash can. Look at that pink one. Okay, what have we got? I see signs up here. Yep, here it is. Marblehead Lighthouse. It's supposed to be a little state park. Let's go check it out.
least it's me and a couple cars back here. It's pretty empty. Here we go. The light continues operations. 50 feet high, 25 foot around. Since 1923 it looks like. Probably older. They build these things. Rebuild them, I mean. Restore them, whatever. What do we got here? Marblehead Lighthouse State Park. This looks like they're rules, information about the park, a little map of the area. Cool. A lot of picnic tables. Look at them all. That must be the maintenance shack there. There's the maintenance guy sitting there. Oh. <laughs> Hello. And what's this say? Keeper's house, carriage house, life saving station. Cool. Another board. Lake Erie. More about the lake. Twelfth largest freshwater lake in the world. Wow. Most shallow of the five grid, 200 miles, 57 miles wide. Huh. Shoreline, 871 miles. Nice. There's the keeper's house. I don't think they have keepers anymore. Everything's automatic. Let's see what these say over here. View from here. More info about the area. This one's kind of harder to read. A little beat up. Talking about Kelly's Island out there. It's that island way out there, it looks like. 25 cents. You can look through the viewfinder. Okay, here you go. 1821. Okay. It's operated by Parks and Rec. Still going. Wonder how many boats it saved in its day. These birds here must have a nest. That one's mad at me. Keeps swooping on me. <laughs> He's saying, hey man, I live here. What are you doing here? He's up in them trees somewhere. There it is. Just perfect shape. They really restore these well. Big old boulders here. Think of the storms that came crashing through here. There's a lighthouse museum. See what the hours are. Nope. Ain't happening today. Pretty cool looking old place though. this one oh let's see oh about the amusement park cedar point those are some massive uh, coasters 
Ain't no way I'd ever get on one of them things. <laughs> no. Too old. <laughs> Well, I spotted something over here. We got to check. See if my eyes were working here. Let's walk down here on this rock beach. Pretty calm. Yep. A tree growing straight out of the rocks. Now I wonder how old that thing is. <laughs> huh? Right out of the rock. There ain't no dirt here. A couple of them. How cool is that? And it's withstood the storms and everything. That is absolutely amazing. Live on, tree. That's something. If you ever get out it this way, you gotta stop and check this park out. What a Shangri-La. My goodness. Pretty mucky uh, seaweed here. Nothing down there. No fish. <laughs> All right. Well, wander back to the van. What a pretty place. Definitely. This is RV friendly. This peninsula out here. Marblehead State Lighthouse State Park. Oh, here's a sign I missed, I think. Did we see this one? More about the lighthouse. 77 steps to get up top of it. I don't think they offer tours in it. So. Cool. What a pretty, pretty place. There's that Kelly's Island. There are ferries that go out to it. I kind of read about that online. Extremely expensive, though. Boy, this place is just plush. How'd you like to have that guy's job? Mow the grass here. I just wouldn't want to shovel the snow. <laughs> Perfect. Well, there's supposed to be another lighthouse over near Port Clinton. That's where we're going to head next. We are just getting into the town of Marblehead. Just left the state park, that lighthouse. What a cool, cool stop that lighthouse is. Definitely highly recommend that. What a cool little tiny uh, state park right there on the water. All right, this is the town of Marblehead. Don't know a whole bunch about it. We're actually heading over towards uh, Port Clinton. There's another lighthouse over there we're going to check. As we keep traveling the shorelines of Lake Erie. Trying to check out these old historic towns just like this one. Marblehead, Ohio. Look at the old buildings and stuff. <laughs> cool, huh? Also, right up here, I'll make a stop, is that Kelly's Island Ferry. I'm not going to take it. My goodness, it they wanted... Uh, is over a couple hundred dollars to haul this van out there, which can't do that, but 
Maybe we can get a picture of it or something. Oh, look at the old police department. Look at that thing. Wow, look at this conveyor system. This must be for loading uh, ships. Those barges. Look at that thing. Goes all the way out to the water. Wow. Pretty impressive. There's the old cop shop. Village of Marblehead. Police Department. City Hall. <laughs> And the clock is not working. <laughs> Time stands still here in Marblehead. There's the ferry coming in. See, they don't haul that many. They charge by the foot. And then I read online the return. You could uh, spend almost the entire day waiting to get on a return boat. Just not worth it. But the length of the van and everything, it would have been... Close to two hundred dollars. Take that ferry out there and back. There are campsites on that island, though. There is camping out there. All right. Well, we got another stop. I found it online. It's called East Harbor State Park. It's supposed to have a really fantastic view of Kelly's Island. So let's run out there and we'll check it out real quick. We're just now leaving Marblehead. Good road out through here. Aha! East Harbor State Park, half mile to the right. Yay! Really good road. Patches of blue sky. Here it is here. Entrance. I don't think there's a fee to just check it. There is a massive campground in here. Big one. Almost all these campgrounds are sold out though this time of year. Everyone comes up here in the summer to stay cool. Get out of the heat. the entrance for the camp we're not going in there we just want to find the water we'll drive out it looks like on the phone here if we keep going straight we'll end up out here in the water should be like a park area day use place is huge Yeah, all these campgrounds. I kind of looked and they are booked. Even the RV parks are pretty much sold out. You really got to know where you're going to end up. If you want to stay in one of these places. Just to pop in and try to get a site. It's probably not going to happen. go. There's Lake Erie. That's that Kelly's Island out there. Cool. This is all day use. Alright, let me try to find a place to park. Shouldn't be a problem. It looks empty. <laughs> this will work. I see a storyboard over here and a bench. Got to check these out. See a lot of people walking their doggies too. Probably out of the campground. Okay, welcome to East Harbor State Park. Their day use area. 
We're right at the edge of the park here on the water. The lure of Lake Erie. Oh, wow, look at the boat. Look at that thing, huh? Wow. Get all the sails up on that thing, that'll really go. Some of the old time boats going through here, and then the little fishing boats. <laughs> Transportation corridor. All the Great Lakes are, I think. View for a quarter. Whoa, you don't want to trip in that thing. There's the water. Concrete steps. Or at some time you could swim out of here maybe, I don't know. Pretty way out there there's that Kelly's Island. Pretty unique park. Between Lake Erie and you got the inland waterways. Camping, boating, kayaking, canoeing. <laughs> what else we got? There's a good look at the lakes. There's the camping areas in there. All nestled in the trees. I bet the fishing is just endless. There's a road we just came in on. I think over somewhere out there is that Port Clinton. That's where we're heading next. You can drive quite a ways out here. Got a lot of parking. Might even have a boat launch maybe out here. Got some rock barriers. There's that Kelly's Island. Pretty cool. Or maybe that's Kelly's Island. <laughs> There's a couple islands, who knows. Look how little that boat looks out in that big old lake, huh? And it's probably a big boat. <laughs> All right, back off to the highway. We're gonna head on over to that Port Clinton. Check out their lighthouse. They're supposed to have a pier. Once again, right on the water. You don't realize all the boat towns, shoreline towns, waterways. There are around the Great Lakes, but they're endless. Every little town has them. Pretty cool, good RVing. Should be our highway. I'm trying to stay off the main roads as much as possible and I'm avoiding all big towns. Really trying to. If I do run into where I have to drive through one, I'm jumping on a freeway and just bypassing it. No sense filming that. We are back road small towns. 163 West. Here we come. This should take us right up into uh, Fort Clinton. State Park over to Port Clinton, the lighthouse. It's only about eight miles. Not far at all. Just a few minutes. Wow, look at them flowers. Yay, made it. Port Clinton, here we are. Look at all that huge porch. Those have to be like apartments. View of the water. 
Here we go. Historic lighthouse. Found it. Cool. I see the lighthouse. Boy, it rained here. Look at the puddles. They got a pavilion tent. Maybe they got weddings and stuff out here. Different events. There's the lighthouse. Let me get parked. We'll go check it out. We got over there. Look, there's a. That's where the boats go out. We'll check that out too. A statue of a fisherman with his dog. Pretty cool. And I'd say this one's a replica. Looks pretty little. <laughs> but you never know. Maybe they're using it. Let's see what the sign says. Port Clinton Light Station. Yep, it's a replica. It's what remains of it. So, cool, they saved it since it was discontinued in 1870. Huh. So, it must be a different one. Cool. History. They're saving history right here. Look at the effort it takes to do that. They got it up on piers so it doesn't get washed away. Because when that lake gets rough, I bet those waves could crash in here pretty good. Nice. Well, we'll go over and check out that pier. Maybe we'll catch a boat going in and out over there. Once again, this is Port Clinton Lighthouse. Their little park here. And looks like pier. Right along Lake Erie. little boathouse. Look at the little door so the little boat can come out. <laughs> That's cool. Here you go, Lake Erie Love. Shoresandislands.com So they got websites set up for all this stuff. Check it out. Once again, there is camping and RVing everywhere around here. It's like they built the place for RVs. There's the van. Oh, I see a big boat going out. Looks like a passenger ferry. Look at it. There it goes. I bet it goes out to that Kelly's Island or one of those islands out there. It's a pretty good size one. Look at all the people up top. Look at that thing. That thing's loaded. Look at them all. Jet Express. I bet that's a fuel burning beast. <laughs> the big boats I got. I got them twin big diesel engines in them. No wake. He's doing pretty good. 
I bet he really takes off here in a minute as soon as he gets out of this area. Well, cool. Let's walk on out. Check it out. And some nice chunks of wood here. They've been there a long time. Fort Clinton welcomed you. Thank you. There's a guy fishing. Yeah, look at him take off. He's really burning some fuel there. Plowing water. Oh, woke that guy up. He says, I'm out of here. <laughs> well, fun deal. Let's walk out a little ways. Maybe another boat will come through. There's a little fishing boat. People out going out and have some fun. Pretty uneven concrete. Wonder why. <laughs> Maybe it's sitting on a bunch of rocks. There's something coming in. Looks like a barge with a tractor on it. I'll wait for that. Uh, looks like condos out there, apartments, little sailboats. They're out there anchored, probably fishing or just enjoying the day. Power plant. Uh, there's something coming in. Check it out. Check it out. Sky's clearing. Look at them birds. They are just happy. Frolicking around the big old Great Lakes. That barge looks like it's getting closer. Well, here comes the SS John Deere. <laughs> Excavator on a barge. They probably haul it out to that Kelly's Island or those islands and do work. Well, I bet that cost a few bucks hauling that thing back and forth. Pretty good. Little tug. Oh, look at that. He just has twin outboards on that thing. Pushing it right along. It's pretty good. All right. There's your boat parade. <laughs> well, fun little stuff. You can definitely sit here and see some bigger uh, boats go in and out of here. Especially the ferries that go out to the islands. If you're into fishing, oh my goodness. This is a trip of a lifetime for a fisherman right here. Cool. All right, head to the van. Well, there it is, there's Port Clinton. Got the waterways, the docks, the ferries, old buildings. Perfect lawns and trees. What a plush place to live, huh? And plus their little lighthouse replica. Not bad. At least they got it. And look at all the beach. Look at that. You can see the bottom right down in that channel. So it's not that deep. 
cool stop, get a chance, check out Port Clinton, Ohio. All right, back on the road, here we go. This is the downtown area. They got their main street all blocked off right there. I was going to drive down through there. But we'll just keep on trucking. Small town USA. Back road, small towns. Cool. drawbridge for the ferries to get out of here and the sailboats. And there's Lake Erie right off to the right. A lot of apartments here. Wonder what the rent is on something like that. From here, I have to make a big go-around. I'm not driving Toledo's coming up. I'm not driving through any big towns. So I need to figure out a plan B. We're pretty much at the end of Lake Erie. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to jump the freeway. And we are going to head over to Elkhart, Indiana. And guess what's there? The RV Hall of Fame been wanting to do that forever and it's really not that far so I think that's our plan B so I'm gonna pull off up here I think it's about two three hours over there we're gonna call it a night and I bet we're gonna do that tomorrow I'll get it all mapped out Well, we're in the middle of nowhere, and I'm going to look. You're going to see here in a minute. <laughs> if I can find it. I've been twisting and turning on these roads. It's early morning. But check this out. Welcome. Check it out. We're on back roads. Yay. And I mean back roads. We're actually five miles north of Interstate 90 that was cutting through Indiana. But look at this. We are so close to the Michigan border. This stone here, there's a marker. Okay, there's supposed to be another marker in the road. 130 feet south will mark the exact corner where all three states intersect. Indiana, Ohio, and Michigan. You know, last night I was goofing off, mapping myself out, because we're heading over to the RV Hall of Fame, and I found this on Google Maps. So those stakes in the ground there, there's the green sign. The road kind of changes. There's got to be a marker. There it is. Look at that with the M on it. There's the official survey marker for the three states. So I'm actually, what, standing in Ohio? <laughs> the van's in Michigan. And those cows over there are in Indiana. <laughs> All right. Look at the farmland, look how flat. Right there, that road, there's that border of the state line between Michigan and Indiana. So that direction would be what, Indiana? I think, pretty sure, yep. Then right here we go swing over to Ohio. <laughs> so that farm, look at that. He's got, some of these farms got uh, property in both states 
How cool is that? Anyway, little fun fact when you're traveling. It's not super easy to find, but GPS does work. It brought me right here. I would not bring a big rig back here, but definitely it's a fun little thing to see. Get your picture in three states. How cool is this? <laughs> I mean, I thought about it when I see it on the map. Kind of like Four Corners is out west. This is three corners. Ohio, Indiana, and Michigan right in one place. I bet these farmers get a kick out of people coming out here all the time taking pictures. Quite a few online. We see a lot of pictures, a lot of reviews of people coming out here. Once again, it's not the easiest, but it's worth a tr trip out here just to say you did it. Okay, we're going to snake our way back. We're not even going to jump back on 90. Yesterday I had to drive I-90 a little ways. I found a campground. But we're going to go down and pick up Highway 20. Talk about living out in the sticks. Look at this place. Farms, fences, animals. Uh, this is Amish country up here. Michigan Amish countries in this area somewhere. Just something out of a picture book, isn't it? Okay, we made it on 20. Look at this up here. Here's the Interstate 90. We're going to go right underneath it. Small towns and back roads. That's what we're going to be doing. We're heading to the RV Hall of Fame. It's over in uh, Elkhart, Indiana. Not too much farther. This town here is called Angola. They got a Walmart here. I need to supply up. It's been a while since I've... Uh, Hit a big store. I haven't seen any for quite a while, quite a few days. I need to grab some water, some food, restock the cupboards. So I think up here we gotta make a right. We're gonna truck north a little ways. Wow, look at the old brick buildings and look at this roundabout. Big old statue. Huh. Whoops, I gotta go to the right here. <laughs> There's a Walmart up this way somewhere. Isn't this cool? Yay, I see the sign, Walmart. Still pretty early in the morning. I had to get out there and check that three state marker though. That was just too cool. <laughs> so I sidetracked a little bit. 
Okay, I can get grab some supplies and we'll be right back on the road. Alright, look at this. I was in the store for a little while and then I checked emails back there in the van. And the skies are clear and we're getting rid of the clouds. We got some blue sky. And it is warm and humid here. Very humid. Still not used to that. Okay, we're going to pick back up here on Highway 20. But look at that. Isn't that cool? People here are probably just used to that thing. All the flowers planted. All right, here we go. Highway 20. Streets a little wet, so they had rain here overnight, I bet. Old, old town, Indiana, right here. Pretty cool. What a cool trip so far around Lake Erie, Vermilion, Huron, Marblehead State Park. Now we're just skirting right along here uh, through the top part of Indiana. Hey, hey, oh, guess what I see? We got a buggy coming up. Boy, it's a fast road for the buggy to be on. There he goes. And this little town here is called LaGrange. Kind of like that ZZ Top song, huh? Sunoco, you don't see that gas on the west coast, do you? I read there's a lot of Amish here, Mennonite, big farms, Lagrange, Indiana, huh? It's getting uh, pretty late morning. My little side excursion this morning <laughs> took some time. I still think that was cool. Let me know what you think. Be sure to check out my website. RVRTV.TV for more travel. Sign up for the free newsletter so you can find out what's happening. Got all kinds of cool stuff over there. Once again, it's RVRTV.TV. What do you say? Let's get on in there and find this RV Hall of Fame. Check that thing out. I've been wanting to do that for a long time. Well, I'm coming in the back way, I think. Because <laughs> I cut across that Highway 20. It's right up here. The phone is guiding me all over the place. But I think I see it. This should be cool. All of our scene was YouTube videos in this thing. Should be fun to go in and check her out. Well, Elkhart, that's, this is RV Central, all the big manufacturers, not only for the actual trailers, motorhomes, everything, all the parts, all the delivery drivers that work here, hauling rigs. The 
this is RV World Headquarters. I see some RVs. All right, cool. Well, let me do this. I'll find a place to park. Then we'll head on in this thing. Check her out. Museum and Library. I heard the library is priceless because this is where you can get a copy of an old brochure. If you got an old RV, they got an extensive library library here. So we'll check that out. That's an older motor home. They're putting some new buildings over there. Look at that. Maybe they're expanding, there's a van. All right, let's go in and check it out. $10 to get in here. Look at this RV covered wagon, one horsepower, no, two horsepower model. Nice new canvas on it. <laughs> I like looking at the older ones. Man, that's a big place. All the names on the walls, all the directors. They got boards and stuff here for all the RV associations. That's who runs this, is the RV association. Little toy ones there. Little toy models of RVs. What we got over here? They got a movie theater. You can watch a movie. Here's an older teardrop. Look at this little guy. You can you imagine sleeping in one of them things, though? Go RV, and that's that TV show you see on uh, cable. It's more like an infomercial, non-stop infomercial. They show RV, and but they cram the commercials down you. Yeah. All their awards. Go RV, and well, we'll check it out anyway. Layout of all the factories around this area. How many have come along through the years? Okay, here's a model of a factory. Look how they build them. They run them down the assembly line. You know, they build an RV inside out. They start with the platform and set the walls and then build it out. That's why they're so darn hard to work on. <laughs> Even the nice ones, they still use glues, glue and staples and lightweight wood. Okay, what else we got in here? Oh, there's a new one. There's a sign on the door when I came in that uh, almost all the new ones have been pulled out of here because of the shortage. So very limited on anything new in here. But we came to see old ones. Here's a nice $30,000 trailer. <laughs> They're easy to pull, these guys. The engineering on these things have really come a long ways. Still using old cheap paneling though. See where the bed folds down back there? That'll fold down into a big bed. No thanks. Here you go. See, these are actually new. They look old, but they're, they're 
glamping style, I guess they call them. Nice color yellow. Cozy, though. I mean, they're fun. They make a statement. You want to go to the beach, campgrounds, look good. Here you go. <laughs> it's got all the modern stuff in it. I don't think you pull it with the old car. Oh, boy, look at this motorhome. You better be a fa football fan of the Eagles. Going to own that. Nice old car. Go RVing. I tried watching that TV show, but it was just too much like an infomercial. This has the old nostalgic look, but this is brand new. This is brand spanking new. This is not a used trailer. That's how they build them. Okay, well, let's do this. Let's go uh, look at this thing. So if you're an Eagles fan, <laughs> you better be. That bus is for you. Cool. You want to see the inside? Hang on. I waited till those people left. All right, here we go. Football everything. All the colors, the table, even the color of the counters. It all has the team colors. This is somebody's little passion here. This is uh, probably seeing a lot of parking lots at the football stadium, huh? Bunks. Then you can watch a game in here. Don't even need tickets. Pretty cool. But Philadelphia football, you'd have snow. <laughs> Woof. Fun, though. Anyway, made it to the museum. All right, let's go find the old stuff. See what we got over here. Well, pop up. Boy, these pop-ups are nice anymore. Look at that. Fold-out bed. Compact. Pretty comfy. Not like the old ones used to be. Talk about lightweight. You can pull that with nothing. A little car would pull that. Don't forget the kayak up top. <laughs> All right. Let's go check out the other side. All right, here we go. Supposed to be where the old ones are. Thor, they've been around forever. A lot of coach, you know, back in what was it, 2008, 9, and 10, a lot of these guys went belly up when the economy tanked. Look at that old airstream, huh? goodness that's pretty there's clubs that you can join when you have the airstreams I owned a it was an airstream uh, Argosy the white one years ago restored that thing what a nightmare because everything's rounded in them all the cabinets are rounded it was really difficult to work on 1958 Airstream. Look at this guy. The old colors of the old days. The old green and avocado colors. Another one in the 50s. Don't want to 
want to stand up in that one, huh? Got the old sinks. But these are a hot item. People love these things. They kind of took off a few years ago. They People want these older ones. Go out and do some glamping. <laughs> They're the orange fender. Against a silver color siding. <laughs> Room for two. Just don't stand up and sit up in a hurry. <laughs> And this one, you know, you, some of these you still see quite a few of out, out and about. Especially around Quartzite. The old stove. These things are heavy to tow, too. They're built like a tank. Not much insulation in them. Nah, old motor home. Kind of similar to one of my first ones I had. This one's a bounder. They made a million of them things. Oh, what have we got here? You got to sign your name. All right. Well, check it out. RV or TV was here. Yay. <laughs> Fun. People from all over the country come here. Here you go. Now, I would love to have something like this. Wouldn't that be neat? I would absolutely love this. I'm sure it's collectible. Tennessee Traveler, look at the old wood. My goodness. Wow, old wooden seats. How fun. This is one where you drove it to the lake <laughs> and back. Old steering wheel. Goodness. That is absolutely beautiful. Well done. All right, what else we got? Another pop-up. Look at this guy. There's the old pictures. Pretty cool. Got all your camping gear. But look at this one now. Just toot down the road. Pull outside of the road, open it up. There's your bed. Better be pretty short. A little dark in here to film, sorry about that. Doing the best I can. Very, very, very well done. I like seeing this stuff, these old ones. Well, let's keep wandering here. Another old trailer. Look how it's raised up in the back for a bunk. Back in the 60s. A lot of these old timers still going. Old bent seat cushions, more uncomfortable than you can imagine. <laughs> Look at the big old furnace in there. Propane everything. Well, maybe we'll, let's wander around. We'll find that library. I want to see that. Yeah, look at that green. Yuck. <laughs> yeah, it's got a happy home here. Then, of course, the good old coachman, Class C. Oh, my goodness. They made a billion of them things. Oh, here you go. I found my rig right here. 
call it the Eggshell Express. Look at that. Wow. Huh. Wouldn't that be fun to drive? Look at the wood, how they shaped it on the inside. Goodness. I bet there's none of these except in museums. Wouldn't that be fun to have something like that? <laughs> Looks like a big bumblebee. More my style 1929 covered wagon for first production travel trailer very good wonder if it had Wi-Fi I still like that one. that's my favorite so far okay well we got back in here another old motorhome seen those cool color. I like that blue. Here's an original schoolie right here. They call it a house car. I'll be darned. Once again, look at the woodwork. Zero insulation in this thing. Man, those are pretty. Here's another one. Huh. Pretty cool. Once again, we're at the RV Hall of Fame in Elkhart, Indiana. Looking at some old RVs. This is also the manufacturing capital of the world for recreational vehicles. They got factories scattered hundreds of miles around here. Everywhere. Wow. I'd still like to have one. Wouldn't that be fun? This one's kind of newer. Still good shape though. Cool. Well, this one's so ugly, it's cute. Yuck green. Short curtain. Oh, look at the green. E. <laughs> Stainless everything. Little bunk. There you go. I've seen these before. There, seen one on Sacramento Star Streak. Boy, I bet this thing drives like a tank. <laughs> Not much in this one. In its heyday, this is top of the line. Now look at this thing. Holy moly. There's a... I guess you could call it a schoolie. Look at that thing, huh? Wow. How fun's that? And another older motorhome. Cool. Well, well done. I mean, it's not a huge place here, but they they got a lot of square footage and they got it covered pretty good. I'd rather look at these than that other side that go RV in. One of their left the keys in that for me. Okay. Well, 
wander our way around here, ask that guy directions. Go find that library somewhere. Kind of get lost in here, you wind yourself around. Nineteen thirty nine Schultz Nomad, look at that. Cool. You know what I like the most about any of this stuff is the old pictures right here. That tells a true story. Look at all the pioneers in the R V industry, the ones that started building them through the years. What's R V now? Billions. Billions and billions of dollars in industry. Okay, we gotta go upstairs. They got a huge gift shop here. Truthfully, the ten dollar donation to get in is worth it to keep this building going. I'm sure this is sponsored by a lot of the big manufacturers, but it's it's worth it. I was undecided to come here, but since I was coming out this direction, I just kept south a little bit. That's why we stayed in uh, Indiana. But tomorrow, we're heading straight up into Michigan. We're going to start our up going up the shorelines of Michigan, Lake Michigan. Yay! Here's all their association presidents, all the high ups in the RV world. There is some big time bucks here. Here it is. Here's the library. See, if you needed a copy of a brochure, chances are you could find it here and take a picture of it with your cell phone. Pretty much anything in. RV literature. You'd probably be able to find it here. Just shoot a picture with your phone if you could. I don't know. I'm guessing. Pretty cool stuff. Pretty big library. But, you know, on some of these old uh, restores that people do, they spend a ton of money having a literature, even if it's a copy with it. That adds value. You just got to come all the way here to Elkhart, Indiana to get it. <laughs> yeah, good excuse, too, anyway. Oh, cool. Oh, more old pictures. Look at that. See, RVN's been going for a long, long time. Clear back in the covered wagon days. Okay, what's you here? Ooh, look at this. Check it out. We we're just down there. There's that Go RV inside. It's supposed to have all the new stuff. And here's where we just walked through. There's all the old ones. There's the old silver coaches, the old house cars. Pretty cool. That's a real good view from up here. Check it out. Right, well, let's go ahead for the van. Glad I stopped.
and it is humid. Not bad, 80s and humid, pretty decent. Here we go, I'm gonna go stay at an elk, we're gonna stay in an RV park here tonight. Need to go find it. They got huge parking lot here, no overnight camping. They got signs posted. But not too many people here today. But right here, we're right off Interstate 90 and 80. They're combined right now. That's a toll road, too. Right there is your Hall of Fame. You can see other manufacturing buildings. They are scattered everywhere. Look how flat green trees <laughs> part of a clover leaf fair intersection huh and actually the campground should be straight out that way not very far just past that water tower They're just a couple miles from that campground For more information on my travels, please visit RVRTV.tv. That's my website. Sign up for my free newsletter. There's also downloads for screensavers, for desktops, all free. And we have merch, t-shirts, hats, all kinds of good stuff. We sell courses and also activity books. Be sure to, once again to check out RVRTV. It helps support these travels. Okay, let's head on over to the RV park. Welcome to the Elkhart Campground. It used to be a KOA. The place is huge. What did they charge me? 40, about $41 spend the night here need a little break been doing a lot of miles a lot of travel but wasn't that so cool all the way up around Lake Erie along the shoreline historic towns oh man Cow plush and green. Still not used to the green grass. It's warm, but not, I mean, the humidity is more than anything. I, I'm not used to that either. And since we got away from the Great Lakes, it's warmed up uh, too. But when we head out of here, we're going to be heading straight up into Michigan, go up the shoreline. Yay! You see a lot of RVs uh, being towed by uh, delivery people all over the roads here. This is also Amish country. A lot of Amish live around here. They must work in all the RV factories. Seeing quite a few buggies driving across Indiana. We're right, I mean, we're only a couple miles from Michigan here. We're right on the border. I got some good old shade. 
keep it out of the sun. That really helps keep the van cool. Thank you for watching the Once in a Lifetime series. I combine previous videos into one long format. I add a lot of footage. This uh, series here, there was over 50 minutes of brand new footage unseen before. So look for the playlist on my channel, Once in a Lifetime series. The journey does continue. Talk soon.